Hi, this is Jeff Mijewski with the IBM Corporation Web Sphere Application Server for ZOS Group. And today we're going to talk about installing the Web Sphere customization tools for the WASD 8 beta. They haven't changed much, but the instructions for them are found in the Information Center. And you start with going to the beta support page for, Web, for WASD 8, select download. And after you scroll down past the various operating system requirements, all the way at the bottom, you'll see two links. And the first one is for web install of IBM Installation Manager. That's what we'll go with. You log in with the software, user, the software ID and password. The WCT is under the same beta license as the rest of the WASD8 beta. And after you accept it and click on Confirm, you'll see a list of the downloadable materials. The WebSphere customization tools are installed with the installation manager. And so you begin by getting the installation manager for your platform, either Linux or Windows, and downloading it. By the way, this demo runs to about 11 minutes and is not uh, edited for length. So in fact, the WCT install does take 10 to 12 minutes. We're downloading a single zip file, which is the install kit for Installation Manager on Windows. And then once you've downloaded it, it's simply a matter of finding the file and extracting it. So we'll go into the directory that I downloaded it to. And there it is. The zip file is simply extracted, and then the install will be inside of that. Remember, what we're installing here is the IBM Installation Manager for Windows in order to install WCT. If you already have the Installation Manager for Windows set up for the beta, then you can skip these steps. They'll already be done. In the extracted files, there's an install.exe at the top level. Click on that and bring up the installation manager. The installation manager here is preset with the repositories for WCT. So we're going to go ahead and install an installation manager on your system. What you downloaded first was just the install kit, the deliverable. Accept the license for IM after you read it all the way through. Select the location where you want to install the installation manager itself. And I'm proceeding through the panels here and checking space allocation. Now the installation manager is completely installed and we'll restart it. You could also do this from the start menu. And you'll see your options, the first of which is install. Now we're ready to install the WCT. And to do
do that, we have to access the beta website repository. So we give it the same software user ID and password. Installation manager will go out to the repository on the beta website and see what's available to be installed. If we scroll to the bottom of this list, you'll see the WebSphere customization tools, which are what you want to install here on Windows to customize WASD 8 for GOS. So it downloads the metadata to describe the offering and complete the install. Another license agreement. And now we have to select both a shared data location and also the location for WCP itself, in this case program files, IBM WebSphere tools. And of course, you can set it to something else, particularly if you want to run a second copy of it for any reason. Select the portions of it you want to install, in this case, all three. And then once it's gathered all the files, we're ready to install. This runs for a couple of minutes, but it's fairly efficient. In fact, this install was done um, to a laptop machine through firewall and a wireless network in my home office. And as it is, it still only takes, say, four minutes. So to review what we've done so far, we installed an IBM Installation Manager for Windows on the local machine. And of course, if you did want to go ahead and install at this point the WebSphere Application Server or IHS or anything else, you wouldn't need to reinstall the Installation Manager. The Installation Manager is pre-configured with pointers to the beta website and its repositories. And so all of the software that it shows you for install is going to be the WASD-8 beta software. And of course, you can add your own repository pointers if you have them. With all the files having been retrieved, Installation Manager goes and assembles the product.
and now Webster customization tools are installed on the local machine. If you select File Preference, File View Installed Packages, you can see WCP and its installation directory. But if you want to invoke it, the simplest way is to go to the Start menu. And since I had previously installed WCP, 